Hiya, yeah, it's Friday the 2nd of June and it's Joanne Voy... I'm going to say, I'm going to get this right now. Wojciech. Joanne Wojciech. I think I've got it right because Andy of Jim Timber said it's pronounced Voj... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Wojciech. And you, Joanne, said it's pronounced Wojciech. So, hope I've got it right this time. So, happy birthday, Joanne Wojcik. <laughs> um, yeah, have a lovely day and um, enjoy the sunshine. And if you work, and um, I hope they spoil you in work. So, have a lovely birthday. Happy birthday, Joanne. Right, so I'm going to do... <coughs> Excuse me, hang on. As soon as I start talking. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, yeah, so... <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to do a walk and talk video today. Um, I've got to go to Crosby, so I'm going to walk. It's a good half hour, but it's, um, it's a lovely day and it's a nice walk. I've got to go and get um, we've <coughs> excuse me, we've pre um, pre ordered, paid, whatever. Um, I'll move it down because I don't even know what it is. And Ethernet cable, can't even read me writing. Ethernet cable and switch. Um, we changed from, I think I said to you, the internet it just, the it went right up. Virgin from £52 for the, um, a month for the phone, TV and broadband. <coughs> and then they hiked it up to £86, so not happening. Don't use the phone, only use it, only used to use it for me mum. Um, Everything else is on my mobile, so don't need the telly, it's a smart TV and you've got the fire stick and whatever. Um, so it's just a broadband really, and the Virgin wouldn't offer us um, as loyal customers. You, you don't get loyalty, do you? <laughs> a new customer for you. Uh, so we went with um, Talk Talk, BT, <coughs> excuse me, BT installed it the other day, and it's awful, absolutely awful. When I'm going on YouTube, it's swirling for ages. I'm trying to do my comments, and so I'm like, oh. So, pull the notification down and I switch to me in phone data. Um, and Paul, when he's on the computer, oh my God, there's such a lag. And then it, it gets taken out of stuff, and oh, it's a nightmare. So, we, well, Cliff um, ordered from Argos last night. It was click and collect, isn't it? So, um, Ethernet. Ethernet cable. It's, it's supposed to be <coughs> supposed to make it better. <laughs> um, but you think it, this would be good? We got full fibre, and whether or not you've got to give it a week to kick in properly, I don't know. But it's awful, and all, all we only needed the internet. So, and we're stuck on an eighteen month contract now. So if it doesn't improve in eighteen months, bye bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we've. Still got the phones because even though they're not working on these, you've got an intercom. So we've got like three phones. We've got down here in the bedroom and in the kitchen. So if Cliff's upstairs and he wants something, he beeps me. <laughs> he falls asleep. And I just joke, say, you rang. Um, so yeah, we have fun with that. So we've still got them. That's me putting the phone in the cradle. We've still, <coughs> still got the phones we use as intercoms. Like in the kitchen, just <laughs> instead of coming all the way through. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. <laughs> right, got me prescription sunglasses, um, and I've got sun cream on because you know, you know what my mum was like. Um, she always insisted, make sure you got sun cream on. Make sure you got a hat on. It's gotta be. A heat wave basically um for me to have a hat on but i've got my sun cream i'm not happy with 15 back to 15 though i usually have back, back to 10 and um last year i couldn't get hold of it so i think safety and all that they um they put it to factor 15 which i only put my new little bit on because i want to get a tan i don't want to i don't want a full block i want a tan Anyways, <laughs> waffling. Let's go. Absolutely gorgeous day. Yeah, it's um, it's a little bit cool in the shade. 
Um, I've just been walking on the sunshine part <laughs> and I've crossed over now because um, because I need to. Have I, have I pause that? No. Yeah, so I'm in St John's Road and the breeze is a little bit too breezy for my life. And, um, a little bit hot, not as hot as last year obviously, but um, higher. But um, if there's a yeah, you want a breeze, but not a breeze where you're feeling a bit chilly. Um, but I'm sure as long as I get on to Liverpool, <coughs> it's me, as I get on to Liverpool Road, I'm sure it'll warm me. I need to take these off to see where I'm pressing falls. <laughs> Friday and it's only, it is only early. That's um, yeah. that's that lady. It's, she just, I think she lives around here, but she just does the little um, the sections around the uh, trees and puts all the flowers. Um, so yeah, that's that's lovely. When she doing that? Just that every year. I hope I'm shaking as I'm walking because, um, yeah, she does that every year and she just keeps it lovely. Um, yeah, so it looks nice. So St. John's Road and just so good that way. I can't even see the screen to be honest because these, these are good, they block out the sun. But if I didn't have the sunglasses on, I'd be like that. Um, yeah, I'm waffling. Huge one. Turn around. Still on. And that's my friend's um, shop. House Proud. Um, Neil from school. From high school. And um, yeah, he owns a um, house crowd, so good little job in St. John's Road. Who was me? It's a nice little area, really, because you've got. You've got <coughs> excuse me, you've got St. John's Road here, and then that side you've got um, South Road. So it's um, a good walk distance and if you do feel like walking, yeah, you can get across cross people. Um, yeah, it's a nice little walk, isn't it? So just pause this a minute and the copper kettle, oh, that's nice. Copper kettle. That used to be in Crosby years and years and years ago. Um, God, when Sarah was a baby, because remember that would make silver cross for her. Um, and go in with her. <laughs> and Hampton's at the corner. So I'm on um, Crosby Road now. Crosby Road. Uh, Crosby. <laughs> Crosby Road North. That way, if, we, if you carry on walk and you get onto Crosby Road South, but this is Crosby Road North. And <coughs> excuse me. And um, you get onto Liverpool Road from um, from Crosby Road North. So that's that way. <coughs> So yeah, it's just, just a little walk and talk. Um, it's not, I say, it's not, I don't feel cold. It's just, there's a coolness in the breeze at all, but I don't feel cold at all. Um, so yeah, it's just nice. It'll be lovely um, down the beach with the other marina. Or, um, I've got a few things to do this afternoon, so I don't feel cold doing that. Oh yeah, tomorrow, um, let me just cross over by Tesco. I was worried in case the cars <laughs> come out when I'm on the phone and I don't see it because I just 
sometimes I'm oblivious and concentrate what's around me, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, so sorry about that. So as we're saying, <coughs> excuse me, tomorrow in Saturday in Liverpool, the Queen Victoria cruise ship's in. Um, so I'll probably go and see that. There's Kingsway, that's um, down there is my doctors and my dentist. I'm just, I'm just pretty chicken with the cars and I'll pass the end. Um, mm. Is that recording? Yep, I think it is. Um, yeah, so the, um, I think it's only there till about quarter to six, I'm not sure. But um, it's coming into the pool and it'll be nice to see. So, video of the Queen Victoria quite a few times. Um, and when all the three queens were in, like the Queen Mary, Queen Victoria, um, Queen Elizabeth. So, um, yeah, so it'll be nice to see tomorrow, won't it? I always forget that that little box is there because I'm sure it used to be a bigger post box for him. Um, nice to see it at the time. And, yeah, yeah, this is this is the route. <coughs> excuse me, I used to take to go to my mum's. Um, because if you remember, I used to do the vlog, and then of course it get to my mum's, and then my mum would get on it, and um, yeah, those were happy memories and um, memories I can smile about when I think of my mum now. Um, yeah, it's, it's still very raw but it's I've learned how to cope. <laughs> I've learned how to smile. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the road as, as we get further past Lazarus House. Um, it's, you know, you turn off because you used to do it, oh God, I used to do it all the time, didn't I? walk this route, walk to my mum's um, and yeah it was just um, you know when I think <laughs> I think of how she was with Boris she's like Boris I know what I do with him and I'm going what? <laughs> so yeah my mum would just say how it was um, which was nice <laughs> and she got away with it as well because she had a cheekiness about her and <laughs> It was it was just so funny the things she came out with, and um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice, nice memories of my mum and my dad. Um, but yeah, still um, miss them both. Yeah, I'd usually stop recording when I get to the end here, wouldn't I, and carry on walking to my mum's. residential care home but that way used to be the children's villa and um, when I was in primary school it was um, it used to be called St Peter and Paul's but they changed it to Great Crosby Catholic Primary um, so yeah I had a few um, couple of friends that lived in Nazareth House and I think I've told you before they the, the nuns used to put disco on for them and they could bring their friends. And it's lovely, absolutely lovely. And th they were so happy there. Um, you know, I won't go into their childhood before they went here, but um, yeah, they they had a they had a happy life here. And I don't really know what became of them. Whether they went to other families, I really don't know. But all I can say is, my friends. We're happy living here. So this is where the children's house that was the children's villa. Let's see. See ya. Right, so I'm coming up to the end. Um, the road where I usually turn off to go to my mum's um, and it's okay to say where she lives now because she's not there is she 
So mine's really starting to go down there and then it's cross over and the side road is called Strathmore Drive and then it cut through and then you'd get on to my mum's um, lane which was Enbutt Lane um, yeah, so that's where my mum, that's where we grew up basically from from when I was eight years old um, we moved to Crosby and um, had a happy childhood there, so happy memories my mum and dad were brilliant parents um, yeah. yeah, and even though there was a bus stop by the Amber pub and then coming back it wasn't weird. Coming back, um there's the, the bus stops are actually opposite her house practically and my mum would never get the bus. She'd say no I have a walk I'll walk and I used to worry because it's all right for us walking but you know oh my mum was so active as you know she was 83 when she passed away and Right up to the day she had that massive stroke, we were doing a vlog on the morning, the 9th of November 2020, etched in my mind, but um, she, we were doing a vlog, she was going to my sister's, I said you're right, my morning, and she put a, a trademark thumbs up and said as well as I can be, and I thought, yeah. Hating ambulances. Uh, yeah, so that's the um, St. Peter and Paul's church. It's where my mum and dad are buried. Their ashes and their casket in the urn um, buried together. So. And I got married there as well. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, um, so, as you can see, it's all walking distance, it's not far. Literally around the corner, practically from my mum. Where we used to go to my dad's, my dad's grave, didn't we? So, yeah, so this is Liverpool Road, and um, it's a continuation <laughs> in Tamale. So, I'm in Crosby now. I was just about to say how busy the traffic is, <laughs> and then it stopped. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's a nice little walk, so I'll show when I get to um, Mullane, the village, but people call it Mullane Shops or the village. It's always used to be called the village, and this generation seems to still call it the village. And it was our generation that said Mullane Shops. It's weird how things um, work out. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I just walked past these two fellas with their dogs and the one that was like nearer the road, the little dog was like walking up, looking up at them all the time and I thought, oh, I want a bit of attention there. <laughs> and then the fella, <coughs> excuse me, the fella noticed and looked down and he said, oh, where are you going? And he went for his hand in his pocket and got some treats out. So the little dog was asking him for treats. <laughs> It reminded me so much of Lucy. Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. So cute. This is new um, Liverpool Road Studios. Um, before COVID, it was going to be getting done. Um, and then it then it never was. <laughs> um, anyway, it's all open now. <coughs> I haven't been in yet, excuse me again. Right, I'm getting to the other end of my mum's lane. It's such a long lane, Ember Lane. So, where I'd cut through to go, you can get to it from this way. But it's, oh gosh, it was never ending. And sometimes when my mum would cook, come back from the shops and go and let them cross over. I always used to say there should be a little island in the um, cross. It might be a dangerous bend because the cars come from all directions. Anyways, yes. So it's right, right the way round. It's such a long lane and you 
when you get to the top you get off onto Stuart Road I think it is um, yeah again my mum would go to the shops for her shopping she'd have a shopping trolley like and <coughs> excuse me gosh I've got water with me I've, every now and again I've paused it and had a drink um, so she'd she'd get all the way down the lane and she'd like oh this lane's never ending <laughs> but she'd carry on going and um, she'd get home but you know that there's a saying is it something that the last mile is the longest mile <laughs> something like that anyway um, but yeah she's right I used to especially if the weather's rubbish and you're walking down that lane oh my god it's never ending and my mum we was literally bang smack in the middle of the lane so no matter which way you went if you went from that way you got a hell of a walk if you went the other way from Stuart Road at entrance <coughs> way I mean which Stuart Road would go on to Brownmore Lane um, you've still got a heck of a walk because my mum and dad's house was bang smack in the middle um, just past the ambit so yeah or if you go from this way just before the ambit God nearly went then. <laughs> so yeah, it's um I'm okay now to say where my mum and dad lived because they're not there anymore, are they? And, um part of me thinks it'd be lovely. I wonder if their presence is in the house. Um but then I'd like to think I want them just to be resting in peace. Um but I know she's around our family they're both around our family. Um, because a few things have happened recently and um, proof that my mum and dad are with us. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm still on um, Liverpool Road. More lane shops is that way, Hill Village. This, I don't know what it's called now, but this is my, was my primary school. Well, I joined it as in juniors because I, yeah, when we moved when I was eight, um, yeah, but it's a primary school and a junior school. So, I can't remember where it's called now. Um, I'm not sure, but it's, it's not Great Crosby, it's not St. Peter Falls, changed to Great Crosby. And then there was the other school on the Northern Road that's also was St. Peter and Paul's new school they used to call it and they changed that obviously to Great Crosby Catholic Primary so you've got that one here where the infants and the juniors and then you went to the one on um, on the Northern Road <laughs> um, which you can access from Embert Lane because if you go if you go down Embert Lane you see railings well looking through the railings that is the uh, primary school of Great Crosby, formerly known as St. Peter and Paul's. So, yeah, a little bit of um, this was my childhood basically. I grew up in Crosby and I loved it, absolutely loved it. And that's where my dad in 2001 and my mum in 2021 rested before they were in. For the funerals basically. So yeah, again everything's just walking distance. I paused it, nope, I haven't. Right. That's the Princess Diana Memorial Garden. So I'm in the village. On a Wednesday here, there's usually an open market because if you if you're in Bootle today, um, where Joanne lives, um, outside the Strand, the market's there. But on a Wednesday, it's here. But it's not Wednesday; it's Friday. So. I did, I think I did it the other week actually, I did the shops down here, um, 
So I've got a few things to do this afternoon. It's only early morning, so. Um, but that's the village, the George pub. Brilliant pub. I've been for years, I put it. It is a nice pub. And they, they do nice food there. So I'm going that way to Sainsbury's because they have an Argos attached across the way from it. That used to be my bank. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? All the banks closed. It's crazy. It's Costa. When Angela um, came when she was in Thornton, um, I took her to Costa for a hot chocolate. And there's my tissues, spec savers. That butcher's has been there for absolutely years. Then I'm um, Sarah's 36 now, and it was going before she was born. Um, so yeah, if I was getting the bus home, I'd go that way and get the bus. But I'm walking, it's too nice to get the bus. It's alright. So there's Sainsbury's, and there's our bus next to it. So I'm going to finish here now. Um, So I'm going to go in here and as I say, if you want to go to the same you can cross me So I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. See ya.